when uh, John Glenn was to be the first astronaut to go up into the atmosphere and come back and they wanted him to come back in a special place and that was what I did. I, I computed his trajectory. And uh, from then on, any time they were going to compute trajectories, they were given mostly, all of them to my branch. And I did most of the work on those by hand. But when he got ready to go, he said, call her. <laughs> and if she says the computer's right, I'll take it. That's amazing. That was amazing that he did call and say that the fir first time he made a trip into the atmosphere and he wanted to uh, arrive at, at a given place, he wanted me to check it out to be sure that the, the computer was right. Did you ever ha right. have a moment where the enormity of that hits you? I mean, here you are making calculations. When you said he wants to arrive at a certain place, I thought, yeah, he'd probably just like to arrive anywhere, right? I mean, that's a piece of it, too. The enormity of that must have been quite something. It was an assignment, and it was simple. You, you had to consider the rotation of the Earth. And uh, so equally important when we're going to the moon, you had to know the location of the moon and where it was, in, where it was when you took off. And, where it was when you got there, say the moon is going that way and you're going, you were going this way because you want to intersect the moon in a certain way. It was intricate, but it was possible.